not okay. This cleaning thing is not fun. you're watching Tesca's channel and today I am going to be clearing and cleaning out and slightly doing up my boyfriend's room so stay tuned to the end of the video to see how his room turned out I'm currently stood in my boyfriend's room feeling very ashamed of myself why do I feel ashamed you might ask I feel a bit ashamed because I've been here for the whole lockdown period and because of that I brought across my whole entire wardrobe so I literally brought across all my clothes and shoes I think everyone can relate to that all girls you can relate to that you know we need our clothes and our shoes you know to get by and yeah obviously he doesn't have any extra wardrobe space for me so it's kind of everywhere in the room I've made such a mess so yeah this room is definitely messy due to me so I kind of really look forward to cleaning and clearing this he has no idea I'm doing this by the way so it's gonna be a really nice surprise for him he keeps saying to me oh can you like clear this week clean up you know just because he goes to work and I'm just at home so it makes sense and you know I've kind of not because I knew I was doing this video today so I thought but no because I'm gonna do it as a surprise for you so please just just hold up all right so yeah I really look forward to him coming home and seeing this later he also left in like such a bad mood this morning so hopefully this will cheer him up when he gets back from work so i'm looking forward to that but in my defense some of the stuff over in this corner here which i don't know if i'll show you because it's slightly embarrassing I've got bags full of like presents and things like that for him that i've had to like shove under the bed and then cover over a bag so obviously that he doesn't see them so yeah that's been a little bit testing you know it's been a bit stressful kind of doing that that's the situation over there so we're gonna call it something today i think we're gonna call it operation madness no we're gonna call it operation what what today we're gonna call it operation clean clear declutter operation clear clean clear clean i can't say that it's such a tongue twister clear clean and declutter yes we are we are going to complete this and yes we are going to succeed and i can't wait for the finishing product and i hope you can't either so let's get on with the video if you do like the sound of this video please go ahead and give it a thumbs up comment section below and let me know what you think and don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already also before we get into this video i just want to say that yeah my head doesn't look too great today and i would do my nails the reason why is because i knew i was doing this i'm not gonna lie i'm just gonna get really sweaty and messy so there's actually no point me feeling like good about myself today so we're just gonna leave it like this because oh my god I've got my work cut out for me today and it is boiling outside so yeah okay so I'm now going to show you the room <laughs> hold your breath this is the shoe situation here yeah great golf golfing stuff here that's actually my fault here and um, this is actually part of his room so just ignore that that normally isn't there then like the tv's here and then we've got this is my bucket list <laughs> that I did the other day for after lockdown which I've done a video on anyway he's got his books everything here obviously laptop and then oh my goodness look at this boxes because we just have nowhere to put it like random boxes that just don't need to be here and then i'm so embarrassed to go to this side of the room because it's totally my fault but look so this is the situation so this is my bags more bags of mine my other bag that i kind of keep some of my stuff in when i go out and go about um makeup delivery that one there's my nail bag like all my nail stuff that one there is my beauty stuff so my face masks and everything that there is my ring light that big bag there and then i've got some more rubbish around here and i've used his like bicycle thing as like a hanger so i've literally got my dressing gown on here i've got a scarf i've got coats oh my goodness it is i'm ashamed this there is some of his presents so again this is what i mean by that situation there is going to naturally go it's not my fault so there are actually some of his presents in there and then oh my god look at this so i've put shoes under here so i need to sort all of that out but look all of this it's just awful i've got another suitcase here full of my clothes and the wardrobe and yeah this situation here i mean i personally think he should have a separate cabinet for that but i wasn't able to get that so he's probably gonna have to stay there for now this is actually for his room so that's why that is here yeah we we need to do this up big time i'm looking forward to it first things first we just sort out a rug i think i'm quite a good girl for doing this on such a beautiful day today yes i am here it is oh, we got it got it I'm not joking. Everyone is getting down to the beach. I'm just walking around the driveway with a rug. Okay, so I'm going to put the rug outside in the garden for it to air a bit. Okay, I'm all right. So the first 
first first what is coming up my mouth so the first thing we're going to tackle today and i think it's probably the most important thing to me to do first is to sort out all my stuff so sort out all my clothes and everything so we're gonna do that now so let's get into it <laughs> Three hours later. I've been here, but I have to stay afloat. It's nice, Okay, so that took me longer than I expected, but I have done it and I'm pretty proud of myself. These are the two things that I'm keeping. I mean, I know it's quite a big suitcase, but we're doing it anyway. So I've got this one and this one, which I'm going to neatly put somewhere. And then I'm going to take that stuff to the car. It is so hot today. I really want to put my hair up and I can't because I can't find a hairband. So this is going to have to do for now. Yeah, a little bit annoying, not going to lie. So I'm feeling a bit overwhelmed. I should know where to go next. No, no. I mean, this situation is a little bit better now, but still needs to be done. So maybe I should just tackle this area and get out of the way. So let's just carry on doing that. We're actually down like this because I physically can't put the camera anywhere else. I've been here, but, but I have to stay afloat. In it goes. I've got a bin liner. It's all good. God, how do I open it though? Oh, I think I've got two. Oh, I've got two. I've got two bin bags. We only need one. Okay. I thought that looked like a really big bin bag. So, in the bin. In the bin. We're getting somewhere, guys. We're getting somewhere. Okay, so I have done that part, which is literally like a fraction of the room. So, we better get on. Right, so this is probably the situation here. I think I'm going to put the scarves in the car. I'll probably put this in the car. Obviously, I need to keep my dressing gown. I think for now, I will just hang it up. We are in a sticky situation, not gonna lie. This, I can definitely put in the car. So this is the card stuff. So I need to get rid of that. Yeah, don't ask what I'm doing. So this. Oh my God. I just dropped everything. Well, not quite everything. I've still got this. I'm gonna lie, it looks like a bomber's head over here. <laughs> this is what happens, right? I think we can all agree. It always has to get messier before it gets clear. <sighs> I am not okay. This cleaning thing is not fun, but it is also not non-tiring. I don't have any sense, but boy, does it tire you out. Whew. So we need to create this operation and complete it. Now I have to say, I'm pretty proud of the situation over there. I've actually done a not bad job. Like there's a few more bits I need to do, but that's pretty good so far. So I'm pretty happy with that. Where do I get, what? I just don't know. I just don't know where to go next. Like I'm just totally making excuses for myself right now. <laughs> so far I have done a fabulous job, I think. Let's get all this rubbish out. I just have too much stuff. <laughs> Now, we're going to sort my shoes out. don't know where to start. I just don't know what to do. So, I've got different shoes. I've got, like, summery shoes. My winter ones. Now, my winter ones I can definitely put in the car. But, like, the weather's just totally changed. <sighs> I've got a mess on my boots. I don't like what my boots are dirty. It stresses me out. These boxes here are actually new shoes that I really like. So, yeah. These are also new. More shoes. <laughs> Are we okay down there? Am I the only one that always wonders how you get mess on this kind of surface? Where did that come from? Have I dropped something on the floor? No, I have not. Weird. I swear there's like little munchkins in the night that just decide to make a load of mess. We love cleaning. Yes, we do. We love cleaning. This is the situation at the moment. So we've kind of tackled this side. I've got a little bit more to do over there. And over here is so much better than it was. Oh my goodness. Yes, obviously still a bit more to do, but we are nearly clear. We've nearly done clearing. We are moving this about a bit though. Don't get me wrong. It's this now. I am dreading this. I don't know where I'm going to put any of this, but it's got to be done. We just love sitting in awkward spaces, don't we? This here is a box with a cable in it. I mean, right, come on, seriously. This is actually mine for the cake, so I'll keep that. Loads of cards from memories. Cleared it, but I need to clear the top as well because I'm actually thinking about moving this over to there and then moving that over to here. So let's see what that deals with. But I think I'm going to keep these boxes underneath and the Creed stuff, but all this stuff I need to put somewhere else. Original source. Yes, it is. Original 
So now we have like cleared the desk, we now need to move the desk and then I need to clean the desk because the desk is pretty nasty. <laughs> Desk moved to a more appropriate space, I'd say. A lot of shifting going on today. That's gonna sit like that. I put this here and then on. Still got a few more bits I need to do over there, but over here, I've got to tackle this table big time. My god, something is slipping over there. <laughs> Voila. Now, the great thing about this is actually where I have put the table, it kind of goes. It kind of goes. Oh. oh my goodness, I'm having such a bad luck with this. That was a really bad choice. What I was trying to say is, you have this ledge and it kind of extends the table if you put more stuff there. I did that quite a while ago, a little bit cringe, I know. I think what I'm going to do though, if I can find the other letters, is write happy birthday Chris on it. I think that'd be a nice little added touch because this is birthday soon. Okay, so this is what I've done so far. So I think this looks a lot better than what it did before. Now I've got to tackle the shoes. So I've just got to get these all neatly done. I'm not really changing much over here, but I need to just clean it all. So yeah. <laughs> I have to say my least favourite part is definitely the cleaning side. I don't like cleaning, I don't like scrubbing, I don't like hoovering, but it has to be done, but I just don't like it. I mean, I thought a girl had too many shoes. Seems like this boy does as well. That can go right in the corner. Where's my shot? Is Shoes are neatly lined up for once. Golf rack, up, up, up. This is such a random place, but got really nowhere else to put that, to be honest. This plant I definitely want over here. I'll show you what I did with this. So I actually put fairy lights on it. So when you turn it on, it looks like this. Like, how cute is that? That is so cute. So that's why I bought that here, because I just think it's really sweet. And it goes really well with the dark wood. So yeah, that's the situation with that. So I have just found these, which is a little bit naughty. Little pit me up. Mm -mm. Which one of your favourite fantastic? Fantastic? Tantastic. Tantastic. Oh my god, I'm saying it completely wrong. Which one's your favourite? Mine's definitely the cherries. I think we can all relate with that one. I tell you what is needed. The fan. Not on me. Good times. Right, so there's just a few things that I want to put on the wall and stuff. And I'll just show you now. So this here... I don't know if you can tell, sorry about the ring light. But this here is um, a certificate of, of, of authenticity. It is celebrating 100 years. There is only so many, there's only 1,500 of these ever. So you really want to get this on the wall somewhere, so I thought why not get it on the wall? So another thing that I have is this. So this is actually a picture of me and him on a big canvas from Longleaf. I love it because of all the colors. Now, what I actually want to do is I want to put this like that, but only temporarily because the reason being is because I've actually got him, well, I haven't got it. My mum has got him something for his birthday that she actually painted herself and i just think it's incredible i think it will look really sick up there so this is what's gonna go up there but he obviously needs to unwrap this on his birthday look how sick that is that is so cool isn't it i just think it's amazing and i just think it's perfect for a man's room because it's a lion and i love the colors on it like look at that seriously so i'm really 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 chuffed with that one i can't wait to give that to him i think he's gonna absolutely love it love it love it and then yeah as always a bit extra i also got him these so obviously his name is chris Bertel. so i got him c and a b which light up because why not and i think i'm gonna put it up above his bed so that's cool let's not fall over <laughs> yeah I can't really see me right now, but I look, like, I look like an egg. But look, come on, that's cool. Now we're going to put this up. But I have to stay okay, so the situation with this picture is it's got two these hooks on the back, which is just really annoying. So I'm going to put a piece of string and then tie it to both ends and then just hang it up in the middle. So that's what we're going to do. Where is the love I 
So I think I'm gonna put it on that wall instead. Okay, so we want to get this up. He is up. So I think it looks pretty cool though. I think he works quite well. Just kind of shapes that area a little bit better. Celebrating a hundred years. We have made some real serious progress. Um, now the next step is to put the C and the B up, which I'm really excited to try out. I hope they work. So now I've got these out of the wrapping it was in. When you turn them on, they look like that. How cool is that? I mean, it's not really doing it justice on here, but <laughs> I'm actually thinking that when I go back home, I want to get some of these for my own room and this will be kind of part of my background for YouTube. They're cute. I think they're really cute. So let's get them up on the wall. I am really happy with that. I think that looks so cute. So cute. So now the next thing I'm going to do is I got these lamps, these gray lamps, and I got some bulbs. Now I'm gonna put the bulbs in the lamps. That's pretty much it really. So I got the little lamp. And I got one for my side as well, but I just really need to clear this because Chris, I don't know. It just has everything that he just doesn't need to have here. A little bit annoying, but we'll get around it, maybe. Okay, so that's the situation. Like, how cute is that? I think it's adorable. Got the lamps, got the CB, got the other lamp. Okay, so I had this idea to light his sprays up because he kind of has an obsession with them. So I thought, I know this sounds like this looks a bit girly, but you'll see what I mean in a minute. I got these because they're quite bright and they're really good. They kind of glow. And I'm going to put them behind the aftershaves and it should light it up. It should look quite cool. So let's have a look and see if it works. So like it's completely hidden. And then when I turn it on, it should all like light up behind, so fingers crossed. Ah! That looks pretty cool! That looks cool! That looks cool! Yeah, that was a success! Success! Hopefully, he should really like that. I think that's really cool. Nice little add a touch. I still have more lighting to put out. Yes, but you may ask what? I've got LED strips to go behind the TV. This is meant to light the back of the TV up. And I've seen pictures and it looks so sick. So we're going to see if this works. I actually got this from Amazon. Um, I think this is a really good buy. It was literally about £12. So if anyone wants to do this, I think it makes your room look so much cooler. They look really cool. So as long as I get it right, we're going to try now. Then I think it will turn out cool. So this is the situation. So you get like these strips here. And then you get this, whatever that is. I think that maybe links the strips together. And what's cool about it is you get a little remote. So this, you can actually pick your color on the remote. And then yeah, the plug, which is a USB plug. So you could get a plug and plug it into that or you just plug it into the TV. So I definitely think that I need to follow the instructions. <laughs> what's great about this is it shows you all of the different ones for different size TVs. So it shows you the best way to like have them on your TV. So I'm gonna do the bottom one here. So just to show you guys, I've just installed this LED strip. So literally you stick it on the back of the television like that and it goes all the way around it. Really easy to do. It's literally just stuck on, you know, you just peel the stick off and it sticks on and then you just connect it to the USB. And then the idea is when you turn the TV on, when you turn the TV on, look at that. Now that is one cool piece of kit. And also you get this really cute little remote control, but you can change the color, see? So you can pick any of these colors and it will change to whatever color you desire. I quite like purple, but he'll like blue. I highly advise getting that guys. Like I said, it was about 12 pounds for Amazon's. I'll link the description below. Right, we need to get this rug in now. I've let it air. Oh. Can I get through the door? Now I think I'm just gonna spray with this fabric deo deodorant. Just so that we, you know, make sure it's fresh. Thumbs up. Okay, so my hair has changed about 50 times today, but here I am again. I have officially done. I am literally so, so happy with the outcome. I am so happy with the outcome. Literally, just from cleaning, clearing, decluttering, just adding a few little bits to the room has just made it so much more cozy and so much more cute, and I love it so much. So I'll just show you officially now what it looks like. So let's go.
this. I just think from what it was before, this looks so much better. That is my video. I just so hope you enjoyed it. I am so happy. I've officially finished it now. And yeah, I am so happy with the outcome. I really want to do this video today as well because I just wanted to show you guys that if you declutter and if you clean a little bit and if you just buy a few little things which are really affordable, you know, just little fairy lights and little added touches and pictures and stuff, you can really transform a room. You don't need to have paint. You don't need to have any of that. You don't need to spend that on all that kind of stuff. Just simply doing things like that can really change a room completely and just making sure that things are in the right place. And I think I have achieved that today. I really do hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Comment section below and let me know what you think and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And thank you so much for watching and I definitely will see you on my next video. Bye. What do we think? Top designer um, points for you should be on that, that American thing that we watched. <laughs> What's that? Where they sell the big houses. Oh yeah, selling sunset. Yeah. That's not um, design though, that's... Yeah, one of them is a design, don't you? Oh, maybe.